Finale for Egyptian God deck last video or a few maybe a week ago. I don't know when I uploaded it, but we did the Oblisk deck, so now we got the Slifer. Yeah, hopefully that tapping sounded good because uh, last episode I forgot to do it. I mean, I know I did it, but I forgot to hit record on these mics. But yep, hopefully that sounded nice. Anyway, let's get into this. Very excited. So here we got the play mat. Um, probably not gonna open this up, but um, yeah, it's just too big for the camera. But it is super cool. That reminds me. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, everybody. I just got a new Yu-Gi-Oh play mat. Look, it's Cyber and Dragon. We got like some dude in the middle, and then like a card over here. Super cool. Like this literally just came in today. I think it's a pretty cool art. Actually, I guess you can't really see it too well, but. Yeah, it's Cyber and Dragon. Oh man, it's so cool. Maybe I'll zoom or I'll move it to the left or right a little bit. You see? Got the. Oh, it's so cool. It's just this big mech looking Cyber and Dragon. Super awesome. Anyway, let's get into the opening. Man, I, I, I just love this so much. When it's in this like little rectangular, dense piece of plastic. This is like, I don't want to say the best thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! or cards, but man, this is really close. This is, this is top-notch anyway. Undo the wrapping. Oh, that, that came off better than the Obelisk one. Undo the wrapping. And on the back, we got our Slifer card. Um, I don't really think this, oh, you'll learn the basics if you do that, but yeah. Anyway, let's get into the reading. We got Slifer the Sky Dragon, my favorite god card. Man, this thing is so cool. I still really need to get the GBI version of it. That's the one with the red backing. But yeah, this is this card from the show. Man, this is some top notch Yu Gi Oh! nostalgia. Requires three tributes to normal summon and cannot be normal set. This card's normal summon cannot be negated when normal summoned. Cards and effects cannot be activated once per turn during the main phase of this card. A special summon sent to the graveyard gains 1,000 attack and defense for each card in your hand. If a monster is normal summoned or special summoned, your opponent's field and attack position, that monster loses 2,000 attack. Then, if the attack has been reduced to zero, as a result, destroy it. Man, that is spicy. Just the card is so cool to a uh, man, Slifer. Top notch card. We have Soul Crossing. Kind of already read this in the last one too, but we'll just keep reading it during the main phase immediately after this effect resolves. Tribute one. Tribute summon one divine beast or your slifer. When you do, you can tribute the monster your opponent controls, even though you do not control them. But if you tribute this way, how to apply this effects until the end of the turn one sorry, until the neck end of the next turn after this card resolves, you can only activate one card or effect. Not counting the effects of Divine Beast monsters. You can activate one of these per turn. Whoa, look at that art. Thunder Force attack. It's a quick spell. Wow. When this card's activation... Sorry, this card's activation and effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Slaifa, destroy as many phase of monsters your opponent control as possible. Then if you activate this card during your main phase, you can apply the following effect. Draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed by this effect and sent to your opponent's graveyard. Uh, and also, you can uh, draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed by this effect and sent to your opponent's graveyard. You can also only attack with one monster this turn. That's super cool artwork, though. Slife for using this big boy. I guess you thund the Thunder Force attack, whatever it's called. Millennium Seeker. What is this? Wow, look at that paragraph on this card, okay. I might need to look at it a little closer. When you take 1,000 or more battle, more and more battle or effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can target one phase up, sorry, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, except a monster with question attack. If your opponent can choose, your opponent can choose one monster from their deck, except a monster with question attack. If they choose not to, or if the target monster has attack, Higher attack than the chosen monster, special summon. 
understood that, <laughs> but okay. Ultimate divine beast continuous trap slice through man. Cool art to do. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard one spell trap, then target one divine monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, then change the attack target to it. During the end phase, if you control the divine beast monster, you can destroy all face up monsters on the your opponent's side. Your opponent controls that that activate their effects on the field this turn. You can only use each effect of ultimate divine beast once per turn. Cool continuous trap though. Jeez, so you can just keep cycling, your boy. What is this? Tell us the little angel. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one of these. A one Talus Wing Token. It's a level one zero attack zero defense. So while you control a Talus Wing Token, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon it. Special summon one. You can banish this card from your graveyard and one spell card from your hand. Special summon two tokens. Also, you cannot special summon the rest of the turn. Also, I guess you, it's kind of like Jam Breeding Machine, but you get these little token dudes, these little angel tokens. React to slime, my boy. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. Special summon two slime tokens. Also, you cannot normal summon or special summon for the rest of the turn except to find beast monsters during your main turn during the battle phase. Quick effect. You can tribute this card. Set one metal slime. Sorry, metal reflect the slime in your hand. Deck or graveyard. Yeah, this is literally just jam breeding machine on like roids. Super cool. I love how they did that too. Like, because in the show, that was like the main way you put it out. This just makes it so much better. During your main phase, you can activate this effect so you can play this card. Activate the main effect, get two tokens. But then, yeah, I guess you can't technically um, summon Slifer. Because you already used your gear, whatever. And this is why we buy the thing. We got another Harpy's Feather Duster. So we got one from the other Hopless thing. And now we got another. So yeah, I think I paid like 20, 10 bucks for each of these, but this card in itself is like five, so it's like, it works out great. I mean, I guess you only need one, but I want a couple of these, because I'm doing some stuff, you know, with my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX project, or my Yu-Gi-Oh! deck project. Destroy all spell and traps your opponent control. Super good. Super good. I guess we'll, now we'll take it out at the end. Breaker the magic. OG guy, an OG, if this, if this card is normal, summon place one spell counter on it. Max one gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. You can move one spell counter from this card. Then target one spell trap card on the field. Destroy that target. Pretty good, to be honest. Here we got Beast King Barbe, Barbos, Barbos. What is he? I don't know, like a lion. Lion Jouster. Wait, 3000 attack. You can normal summon set this card without tributing, but its original attack becomes 1900. You can tribute three monsters to tribute summon this card. You can tribute three monsters to tribute. If summoned this way, just draw a card to your opponent control, huh? Interesting. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. Wow. Nine tails. Uh, nine tails. What are you doing in this game? If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute two monsters. Special summon this card. You can only use this effect of nine tails once per turn. If this card was special summon. From the graveyard attacks a defense position monster inflict piercing damage. If this card is destroyed by battle or a card effect, then since the graveyard you can special summon two box tokens. Oh. Wait, these cards are actually pretty spicy. This seems pretty fun to play. Phantom Sky Blaster. When this card is normal summon normal flip summon, you can special summon any number of sky blaster tokens. Um up to the number of monsters you control. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can inflict 300 battle damage to your opponent, or damage to your opponent for each Sky Blaster monster you control. Sky Blaster monsters you control cannot declare an attack during the turn you activate this effect. Okay, next. Guard, guard. I don't know why this looks so familiar, though. Maybe we saw it in the last one, too. Um, if this card is normal summon or special summon, to place one guard counter on it. This card gains greater attack for each guard counter on it. Once per turn, you can target one other face up card you control. Remove one card counter from this card. And if you do, place one card counter on that target. If this card would, ever, would be ever destroyed, remove one card counter from it instead. Huh. Interesting. I 
just here just to make sure reactor slime doesn't go away or something. Calico, claw, crow. What is this thing? What is this? If you control a dark monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon one of these dudes per turn. Cool. Oh, electromagnetic turtle. Let's go. This is one of my boys. During your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and the battle phase. You can only use one of these per duel. Kind of spicy. Got that in like the secret rare. Breaker the Dark Magical Warrior. This guy looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like Cyber End with these like color combinations. If this card is normal summon, please do spell counters on it. If this card is a pendulum, if this card is a pendulum summon, please three spell counters on it. It gains more to attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card, turn one spell counter from the field destroyed. You can only use the effect of one spell. That's actually pretty good. Assuming it lives well, escape ghost. You can special the flip effect. You can special with any number of black sheep tokens. Wait, that's pretty good. That seems too good. You could flip it, get a bunch of tokens, and then boom, you can next turn summon your slave. Here we have Arima, the Wicked Warden. You can discard this card. Add one layer of darkness from your deck to your hand. You can tribute one dark monster, draw one card, or if you tribute a dark monster rather than this card to activate this effect, that you can add one dark monster for 2,000 or more defense from your deck to your hand. Instead, you can or instead you can only use this effect once per turn. And we got two of them. Three of them, I guess, is like a staple for this deck. Tribute one dark monster, I guess, yeah, I guess it makes kind of sense. We have Duke Shade, Synth the Sinister Shadow Lord. Kind of cool. You can tribute any number of dark monsters, but I'll summon this card from your hand, and if you do, it gains 500 attack for each monster you tribute. If this card is normal summon or special summon, then you can target one level 5 or lower dark monster graveyard to add to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters this the turn. You activate either of this effect except dark monsters. See some cool synergies going on here. Glock Wyvern, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can have this card's attack. And if you do special summon one Glock token, uh, it's a zero attack, zero defense thing. You can activate this once per turn. Really cool effects, honestly, just to get more things to tribute out, you know, for Slifer. Actually, I needed this card for my red eyes, or my potential red eyes deck. I was somewhat building a red eyes deck, but I don't know if I feel like spending the money, but then then ye spirit of his shoot up. Kinda cool. If you control no effect monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you control a face up a non-effect monster, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard then target one card your opponent controls. Return to the hand. You can use each effect one. For some reason, the deck runs it. Swords are feeling light. Nice. I need more of these for my thing. Uh, after this card's activation, it remains on the field. But you must destroy it during the end phase of your opponent's third turn. When this card is activated, if your opponent controls a face down monster, flip all monsters, they control face up. While this card is a face up in your field, your opponent cannot declare an attack. Got the monster reborn. Target one monster near the graveyard. Special summon it. Book of Mo and the other card that I needed as well. I need more of these. Just a really good versatile card. Target one face of monster on the field to change that target to face down defense position. Even enemy control is a pretty good card. Target one face of monster your opponent controls. Change that target to battle position. Tribute one monster, then target one face of monster your opponent controls. Take control of the target till the end phase. This card is actually good for this deck because it has so many, um, like little tokens, you know. So that works out pretty good. Pot of Avarice. Target five monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle five into the deck, then draw two cards. That seems pretty good too, actually. Just have to have cards in your graveyard, though. Tribute, summon, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can target 